Russia is getting some more SAMs in the next update to War Thunder. Let's take a look at what's coming your way. By the way, I'm Old Dead Man, your host. We're looking at the latest dev blog. In fact, this is the first dev blog of the new season. I almost missed it because I didn't expect one this week. So let's take a look at it. Let's go over the details and get trucking with it. The 9A35M2 is a surface-to-air missile system designed and built on the earlier Strela-10 base by the Russian military. Based on the MTLB armored tractor, the 9A35M2 entered service in 1981 as an upgrade to the previous M and base models utilizing better infrared seekers on the missiles that better distinguished from decoy flares and and was able to receive targeting information from nearby command posts and radars. This version is also amphibious, capable of fording rivers and lakes, utilizing fitted flotation buoys on either side of the hull. The Strela 10 and its variants remain in service today, shooting down a South African Mirage F-1 in 1988 to a 10 Thunderbolts in 1991 during Operation Desert Storm and in the 2014 conflict in Ukraine, downing an AN-30 recon aircraft. In 2022, a Ukrainian Strela 10 was involved in a traffic accident in Kyiv, accidentally running over a civilian vehicle. There were no fatalities, although it seems like the man, the driver himself was uh, pretty injured. Later variants include the M3 with better missiles, and proposed additional variants included the M3K on the BTR-60 chassis, the M4, and the T, which would be a Strela 10 T, which was intended for Belarus. There was also a Lushnik E using IGLA missiles that was proposed as well. The 9A35M2 is 6.45 meters long, 2.65 meters wide, 2.22 meters tall, though taller when its, its launcher is deployed, and weighs in at a svelte 12.1 tons. Its YAMZ 238V diesel engine produces 240 horses that drives the vehicle to 60 kilometers per hour on road and 5 to 6 kilometers per hour in water. The tracks are what actually generates locomotion in water as well. It is armed with the 9M37M missile, capable of nearly Mach 2 speed. By the way, there's an 8 total, and only 4 in launchers on top, though. And this missile has engagement ranges between 800 and 5,000 meters at up to 3,500 meters. The missile itself has a 3-kilogram HE frag warhead and a proximity or impact fuse. The armor protects you from small arms fire and fragments, so don't expect it to keep you from 120 millimeters of death. It is crewed by three men. In Wartha, the 9A35M2 will be joining the Russian Rank 6 anti-aircraft tree, complete with decent missiles and amphibious operation. It will not be able to engage ground targets, so be sure you're thinking about that when you decide to bring this puppy into battle. So what do you think of the 9A35M2? It's a current active uh, unit, although the M2s may be a little bit older now. Never know if they're actually in use or not. Um, the missiles are interesting and it's low enough level that it is less likely to bump into the really long range enemies that can fire from outside of its engagement range. That said, there will always be some, and there will be this one's uh, enemies that can be. And of course, there'll be the people that up tier it all the way into top tier where it will quickly die. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, you have a great rest of your day and Hey, we'll see you in War Thunder. Pa. Let's try that now. Yes, much better.